When county lawmakers are requesting thousands of dollars now in next year's state budget for public safety and recreation projects, it comes as the state is expected to have three and a half billion dollar surplus. Our Becky Buds tells us more. On Thursday, Richland County lawmakers discussed more than $1 million in possible budget requests. The largest request coming from the Richland County Sheriff's Department, which says it needs $900,000 for a new mobile command center. Basically, it's just taking the Sheriff's Department and moving it out into the field. And again, the one we have now is 2002. And it's, it's served its purpose well, but it's outdated, the equipment's outdated. Sheriff Leon Lott says it's the first time his department is asking for state dollars. The county just can't can't fund it, so we're asking the delegation to help us out. The city of Columbia is hoping to secure $500,000 towards phase two of the Saluda Riverwalk project. This helps with ADA compliance, it helps with safely accessing the river, and it enhances the actual citizen experience. Statewide, Midland's Technical College System says it's looking for an extra $23 million in recurring funds. People who need health care workers, to people who need manufacturing, to people who need automotive repair people. And so the money is, need to, is needed to help us provide more students in those areas. All projects lawmakers are confident can be funded as the state is expected to have an extra $3.5 billion to spend next year. We we'll have approximately $40 billion in the budget this year. Democratic Representative Leon Howard sits on the state budget committee. He says his priority is health care. To ensure that uh, people does not have to choose between buying medication or making a, uh, a utility bill. In Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. And lawmakers are also considering $100,000 to put toward a new park in Forest Acres on Forest Lake Place Drive.